Hello and welcome everyone, this is VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with some Season 15 action for the Cabal Vision Champions Cup Playoffs. We are continuing quarterfinals action where the Basa has earned his World Cup ticket. Taking out Aldrea 2-1, unfortunately. <laughs> You're right about that, Ungern. Probably everyone here has hit that follow button. Well, hit it again, damn it! No, but no, don't hit it again because that unsubscribes you. <laughs> Next up, though, we're going to see Anarian taking on Spartico, the people's favorite, the magician, Anarian BB2 taking on Spartico, the former number, what, number one player, number number one player in the world with Wood Elves, so we'll see how that's going. I think it was number three player with Wood Elves. Anyways, looks like we are going to be in for a good treat here, guys, as we are going to begin up the games. And I'm just hoping like crazy here. On my preliminary prediction, even though I like Spartaco, I am choosing the people's champion. Anarian BB2, the magician. You just never freaking know who is going to win the match when it is going to be that man piloting the Wood Elf team. Whew, man. Saviors of Athaloran. I mean, jeez, these guys here. They could pull out something crazy. But it is going to be Spartaco. Playing the Necromantic team. I borrow's friends. And I don't know who I borrow is, but he's got some pretty mean looking friends right there. As we are going to get into the kickoff. Not a problem. Thanks for coming out, Arctic Winds. Have a nice sleep. It appears though, the coin flip coming out. Saviors of Athalorn will opt to receive the ball as per the normal, per the huge. As the Wood Elf team, he loves to just score it pretty quickly out of the gate. And Spartaco, likely to know his opponent quite well, will just be lining up. He's like, whatever, you know, Anarian is just going to go ahead and just... Make a little bit of an opening, get his guys passed, and then after that, score it in two, right? So, I mean, nothing new here. It's just who do I want to get hit? <laughs> who I want getting hit here? That's the real question here. But real quick, though, we're going to take a look at both of these guys' skills uh, before we move on. And as you see here, for the Necromancy team, does have the plus one in strength, plus one in agility. Blodge, Werewolf here on the side, and then the White. With a stand firm and the guard ability, so actually you can put the stand firm white right here, so that the one or the one or two move touchdown won't be so viable. There's also have the mighty blow with that blodge guard ghoul here on the left side, and then of course the white here, gonna have him in the center. We'll have him with the guard and the block. Another werewolf here with that diving tackle sidestep blodge for him, and then more blodge ghoul, and then the flesh golem. With that diving tackle, with the block and the guard ability on the far right side. So, stand firm personnel on the far right and left side. That just kind of tells you, Spartaco, he's ready for today's match. He really knows the personality of this Wood Elf coach. And he's going to stop, by any means, a quick score. So, we'll see if this is going to really work out for him. Does have a few zombies here in the front line. Does have that flesh gum there in the front line as well. This zombie right on over here does have the... Tackle ability though. Oops. I hate, it. I hate that the skills go away if I click on them. And the black ability for both the Flesh Golem and the Zombie. And that will pretty much be it for the Necromancy team. A whole bunch of zombies to come in to the match. Probably from teams of old that they played against. But does have a nice deep bench for the Wood Elf team. So... Not like the Wood Up team is probably going to get too many injuries, but nonetheless, going to have a nice big deep bench. Wood Up team, though, does have the tree in the middle. And he does sport here. Actually, no, the, looks like it's, looks like the Flesh Golem is the one without any skills, and it's the tree with the block. Look at that. So this Flesh Golem, no block, it's the tree with block. Boy, I thought it was the other way around. Well, that's why we go over the skill, guys. Catchers here with the diamond tackle with that fend ability right there. And the block ability along with the sure feet. 
for that catcher right here. War Dancer. Gonna definitely need him for today's match. Plus one in agility, plus one in movement allowance. Tackle sidestep with that strip ball. And could come in handy for today's match. We'll see here. Nobody with the sheer hands. And so this might be a good game in which the Wood Elf team could actually win it outright. Wrestle for this line elf in the front line. More dodge here. And then, of course, another one of these beautiful throwers right there. Does have that plus one agility, sure hands, and that dodge ability with that leader on that thrower. So nicely done here for this Wood Elf team. More dodge here in this backfield. Does have the backup thrower with them. And then the block here for that line elf. And then one more line elf to come in with that dodge ability. And we are just about underway. Bloodwiser Bay for Saviors of Athalorn. Spartaco. It's going to be a tough opponent, but we'll see if he's able to come back into the World Cup. Spartaco actually finishing third overall after dropping to the World Cup, the eventual World Cup winner. So we'll see if he's going to be able to get back here. Riot, and that is great here. Wood up team just needs to hold it for one last turn. Play some defense for one last turn as well because he's going to pretty much guarantee to score it. I mean, I just don't see it going any other way. Anarya, just, he's just going to be one of those guys that, okay, I, I have the ball, I score it, right? I mean, that's that's how we play this game, right? We, we, we get the ball and we score it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, not, not too many people like to live up to that rule set. And uh, it really just works out if you're playing a... Nice quick team like this and a very and a, and a very what wild and a crazy coach like Anarian here. It's always a pleasure to watch and quite possibly one of the reasons why he is going to be the people's favorite. I mean, you just you watch to see what type of magic trick he's going to pull out the hat. I mean, honestly, right? There's going to be a nice little vanity pass here. Still wants to keep his guys getting the SPP. Not a normal thing you see too much in the playoffs, but in the regular season games, you you definitely want to do that if you're an Elven coach. Get that one SPP out, throw the ball back and forth in the regular season games, and get as much SPP out as possible. <clears throat> Wood Elves, look at that. Even though it did put Stan Firm on the left and right side in the center, well, you're also going to be a little bit vulnerable if the front three falls down. That's kind of what happened right here and heck with just about everyone with dodge they're gonna dodge on through hell four agility i'm not afraid either two plus dodges i'll take that any day of the week and there you go wood elves gonna make their way by and gonna set up for the reception touchdown coming up pretty soon guys and if it really wasn't for the riot then anaria likely would have scored it on turn two but it will be on turn three coming up that he should be able to make the score coming up but we'll see how Spartaco wants to play some defense. Going to move in there. Get the flesh count right in the faces here of that war dancer as well as that catcher. So here's the blitz. Really wants to blitz down a catcher, if anything. Make things just a little bit more difficult. But it's going to be a both down die, and that's not good enough here. So we're going to see some magic pretty, pretty soon. Some elf BS, guys. You ready for some elf BS? I'm ready for some elf BS. There's the leap. There's the war dancer. Trying to free the catcher, and yes, he will. Leaps away. Look at that. He's like, whatever. I'm not worried about your flesh gown with the assist. And it is going to open up the catcher. He is wide open there in the center. Probably going to have an interception chance by somebody somewhere out there. But before any of that happens, he's going to play some solid blood bolts. It's going to continue to base up the guys that could possibly get to the ball. So it's going to get them based up here. Going to throw it here to the intermediary. And then after that, get the handoff afterwards. I, I definitely see that coming. And there we go. Going to get that hit off. And there we go. Nice little small avenue here to get the handoff at the 2 plus dodge ways. And then the 2 plus handoff into the easy 2 plus catch with catch ability. So there we go. No rerolls necessary. Into a very capped off one to nothing by Anarian. No magic tricks here as he goes up one to nothing but it is not here that he likes to pull out the roses or the birds or the rabbits or whatever else he has up his sleeves 
It was a little bit later on, and definitely when the when his back is against the wall. So far though, so good. Pretty much textbook. But we will likely see some very aggressive actions taken by the Wood Elf team pretty soon. As you can see here, Ghouls, normally the people with the ball carrying and maybe even this werewolf, but with a strip ball war dancer and no sure hands on the pitch, this is going to be a little bit scary for Spartaco, to say the least. I mean, this is not going to be an easy possession. Hell, he's going to have his possession half in the next half, and it still won't be easy for him to hold the ball and grind it out. So let's see how Spartaco wants to play this one. This is not... This is not going to be easy whatsoever. If you are playing against a Wood Elf coach and he has strip ball and you do not have sure hands, you definitely got to be worried and you definitely got to be just paying attention. Otherwise, you're going to get leapt into the cage and then he will get that two red die. He doesn't care. Get that strip ball out and the ball will come out. So this could be, this could be it right here. Spartaco. Will he be able to hold on offense and get the advantage here? We'll take that for now though. Nice big KO on the front line. That'll definitely help. One less wood off on the pitch is a good is a good one right here. There's the bliss. Oh, I didn't know the flesh cob could activate the uh, the rumbling on the ground, and I actually didn't even think about it. Not too often that they kind of go the uh, full length of their speed, I suppose. There's the easy pickup by the werewolf. Does have plus one in agility, and gonna hang back for this time being. Gonna see how this wood elf team wants to play some aggressive defense. We are more than likely gonna see some wood elves here. Making it to this backfield, especially the war dancer, and especially this plus one in agility catcher to get back there and try to wreak havoc and get to that ball, if anything. The tree's gonna go down. I'd yell timber, except, you know, people might think I'm yelling for the skill, which is non existent in this game. Turn four, though. Dodge on through. Hey, that's why we got dodge, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna avoid the one on the dice. And there you go. Gonna move in there. Oh, boy. Showing that he's not afraid. Ooh, take root. And won't be able to stand back up is the tree. So, and that's all right, though. Did take away one from the dice rolls, though. So, all these rest of the stuff should be good, right? Two plus dodge into the blitz. Just wants to get in the face of the ball carrier with the catcher and threaten him but boy he's basing up against werewolves that are just licking their chops to get the hits off and it's gonna be one of those things where the elves they can definitely try to get very aggressive here again because of that strip ball war dancer. He has a chance at the ball. So there you go. As you can see here, he's putting him just in range of the werewolves. And if he cages up, if he moves up, if he just continues to just hold the ball, then war dancer is going to jump in there. And heck, at this point, Anarian is probably hoping the Spartaco may be suffering from old age or something. <laughs> Maybe he might forget that there is a strip ball war dancer on the pitch. Oh, unfortunately, not going to be able to base up a zombie. <laughs> maybe not maybe not such a bad thing because boy not every day that if you're playing the elven team you want to base up the entire team there just like that but here we go nice hit here and but that's just kind of what he was hoping for here this is why the catcher here based up against the ball carry did have sidestep on him if it was just some pushes here then the backfield would be a little bit of trouble over there but since he did get the defender down I was able to just take him down and then after that Able to walk the ball away. In fact, blitzes with him. Does blitz the war dancer, but somebody should tell this werewolf he is not out of trouble. He's going to have to foul him pretty soon. There's definitely got to be a foul coming out here. It's going to likely come from one of these zombies. I I just can't see that this war dancer is going to lie there un untested here. 
And this and that's the big dangerous piece as well. I mean, you got to take him out. So there you go, the ghoul going to stand right there. I don't know. I, I just I just don't know about this. The foul's got to come out. Here we go, the foul. Yes, as I as I have foretold. The foul comes out. Oh, a big entry there, and that is great. The pot's carry will have to be used there, and since it was a just a regular badly hurt in the first go, he will be able to get him back in the next bit. But now this Necromancy team doesn't have to worry about the strip ball, and that is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Necromancy team can now move the ball up, unharassed, grind it down the pitch, score it in just about three more turns, and that's definitely quite viable here. Werewolf, lots of movement allowance, could definitely move that ball up the pitch. It's at the moment about 15, squares, 15 spaces away. I, I mixed up squares and spaces at the same time there. Squares, square, square paces. Dodge away, Wood Elf team. Right now, though, just going to buy this time. Going to have to just play some defense now and not get too fancy here. And right here, he's kind of inviting the attack from the flesh golem. And only needs to avoid the defender down die. So likely just going to be ending up with some pushes here. And, does, and if he does that, then the sidestepping catcher can get into range. And that's kind of what Anarian's thinking right there is, okay, yeah, you know, I'm going to base up the flesh golem to pretty much invite my opponent to attack and if he does attack him and not able to take him down then he's in position to harass the ball carrier Spartaco though a wise opponent gonna move away first before any of those bashes is gonna come out so gonna just take a little bit of resonance just right up the center and now the bashes are gonna come, are gonna come out and here as you can see, the catcher, he's going to stay out. And now suddenly he's in a bad position. But the push does come out. There's the sidestep. Doesn't want to sidestep into this area because he would have been a little bit stuck there. Eh, 3 plus 2 plus dodges. Anari is known to make those in hell, so have I. But I'm going to be stepping into a little bit of a better spot here. It's going to be one of the nice big catches there with diving tackle. So. Definitely going to be one of those things you want to keep on the pitch, if anything. Necromantic team. We've seen them come pretty far. Tier 2 teams, but been taking out some nice Tier 1 teams along the way. Spartaco, will he be back in the World Cup? I generally hope so though. I mean, he has definitely proven to be a very good coach. And one in which, you know, I've always want to see a good World Cup here. And the stronger players in there, the better. And there's going to be the foul here coming out from the Wood Elf coach there. And not going to be daunted. Really want to take that ghoul out here on his left side. Just going to be a stud, but that may be enough here. Turn 7 and then turn 8, so this ghoul is pretty much going to be out of the equation here for at least the score. So, Anarian going to do the foul there. Does get fouled out, but at least now the Necromant team is basically forced to go to this right side. And no real outlet receiver here on his left side that can maybe threaten coming up in the next bit. So now Anarian can go full on charge here on his right side. So that's what, again, Anarian kind of thinking there. Just wants to get that foul off on that ghoul so that there's no there's no change of directions or not so easy at least. Is that a big wolf you got there? You're just happy to see me. <laughs> What's going on, Joanian? All right, so there the wolf will get the blitz here, and the KO comes out nicely done here. When you need these armor breaks, and you get them. It just makes everything so much easier. Ooh, gonna get a little bit one to 36 there. And 
not gonna get anything more here. That's all right though. Most of the Necromite team has been touched and moved, so not a big deal. The Wood Elves now does need to get his guys into defensive position. He should be able to though. But with the plus one in agility, Werewolf with that four agility, four strength, madness, Micah, he's just so much on the steroids. Somebody, somebody get the Olympic Committee on him. He's definitely been hitting that stuff. There's the Blitz, War Dancer. Nice defender, down die. And whenever you're trying to stop the momentum here, especially against an offense here, they can score it pretty quickly. It's always good to get that, that front guy out of the way. And then make it to where it is going to be a little bit more uncomfortable. There's the diving tackle catcher as well. So watch out for him. And there you go. Going to dodge away from danger. And going to be able to get yet more guys here. Ah. I've just been told that the game sound can't be heard. So I'll have to restart Blood Bowl after this game. But my, oh my. Diving, tackle, sidestep. Mm, just going to be pushed away. Sidestepping here to this right side. Really wants to keep him here to continue to touch that ball carrier. Now it's going to be a 4 plus dodge away here from this werewolf. So what's it going to be? 4 plus dodge away? Yes, it looks like he's going to have to do it, actually. No, he's going to continue to stay right there. Actually, there's no... It, was, it would have been a worse dodge away because there's nowhere to go. So werewolf is an absolutely in a tough spot now. Wood Elves may be able to take advantage here. Does have a level 1 War Dancer right there with the leap. And so he can get into position. No, he's going to get the Blitz here on this right side. One die Blitz, both down die. Oh, definitely want to get the Surf off on the white. And then maybe make things a whole lot more uncomfortable. But unfortunately, it's just going to be a both down die. War Dancer is going to leap here. Trying to make things a little bit more uncomfortable. But uh, not going to be able to do much more here. Likely going to get the hit off the push. And oh, just a push away here, opening things up. And looks like this catcher here with that diving tackle may get surfed out if he's not too careful. There's going to be a nice big hit. And going to push him here away. And look at that nice little path opened up. And that's the nice thing here. Spartaco not missing a beat here. Doesn't put him in the wrong spot. If he would have put him right there, that would have been bad. But does get him in a good spot. And then moves up the zombie. Very nonchalant. And then goes up, gets the hit. And pushes him straight out of bounds. Maybe the crowd can get some injuries here. No, looks like it's not going to be the case. But with this white and the other white here in front, definitely needs to pry away the war dancer, but no tackle for that man right there. So maybe another try at it. It's just a level 1 war dancer. Definitely needs to get one more push. Boy, wouldn't you love sidestep right about now? But that's not going to help him anyways. Defender down, die. He's going to go down. KO to boot. Werewolf is just going to dance into the touchdown. 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 1 to 1 Spartaco. Oh boy, what a different game this might have been if that one die blitz from the war dancer would have been able to surf out that white instead, but it's, it's just going to be an easy score there by the end. Nothing that Anarin could really do about that. And one to one. Just needed to push there by the end as well. Three KOs, and they're going to continue to stay out, but man, the defense going to have to hold with just one of these. Wood Elf, and he did have a Bloodweiser, babe, so that is extremely unlucky. Look at that. Three KOs with the Bloodweiser, babe, and somebody get new Bloodweiser, babes, for Anarian, please. Because 
They are not doing their jobs. I don't know what jobs they need to do, but they had one job and they didn't do it. My goodness. And hell, even if Anarian had two Bloodweiser babes, he would have only had one guy come back from the KO. So extremely unfortunate with his KOs. And because of that, he's going to be way down in numbers on the pitch. As you can see there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Wood Elves. Gets the full compliment. It is one to one too. So, what a big miss there. Does still have the ward dancer though with strip ball. So when he's, as long as he still draws breath, ladies and gentlemen, Wood Elf still has a chance. So, you better believe that. Anarian, he's used to playing down, a guy or two. But now we are ready to see some magic. Will we see some magic? Ladies and gentlemen, I am hyped for this. I'm definitely hyped for this, guys. I'm waiting for the magic, guys. I'm waiting. Will Anarian be able to pull out the unpullable? Or will there be just sadness amongst the stands? Flesh Golem going to move up, get that touch on. Spartaco living up to the dodge of, hey, look, if I can make my opponent roll some dice, I'm going to make him do it, even if it's an easy little 2 plus whatevers. Tree opening things up. No block on him yet, so it's just going to push him aside there. Dodge away into the 3 plus dodge, into the leap here for that nice big defender down die. No big injury, though. Man, even on the weak arm value 7, cool. Gonna just take him down and at least just get the touch on the cage. No armor break. That, my friends, is just too bad for Anarian. Would have loved to see the numbers get a little bit more squared away, but the cage easily is gonna be put up here on the left side. Flesh golems. Yes, they're gonna be able to pave the way as well. Gonna be right there in front as they should. Get to get that cage right back up. The aggression that's gonna come out here for Anarian. May have to get might have to wait a little bit though. Oh, just a both down die. Oh boy, if I was Spartaco, I'd have to think really long and hard. Maybe I would have re-rolled that. But not wanting to get nuffled there. Just gonna accept that. And I guess maybe lucky he didn't, because he's just got a little bit one and nine right there. But the nice hit here, defender down, die. That's going to come out. More KOs on the Wood Elf team. This is just one after another. We'll be able to put this around here on the War Dancer. Does have plus one in agility, so he can definitely dodge around and make circles around whatever you see right there. And as you can see, Spartaco, he knows that he's not out of the woods here. He's going to put the ghoul right there just so that maybe he can get the catch on perhaps this aggression coming out. This is definitely going to be it right here. We're definitely going to see some fireworks. Already setting up the guard here on the flesh gun. I'm going to be definitely in use. This is another reason why I put the ghoul right there. Get the guard here on the empty spaces so that not so easy. It's definitely going to be a two red die block if, if anything. But the leap comes out. The failure. Two plus leap. And the reroll. Going to get the reroll here. And he's going to be able to move away yet again. He does have one, uh, one blitz here and one chance to maybe get to the ball. No, but instead he's going to stop short. Going to hit the flesh gun instead. Going to just fly back. This isn't the time. Oh, yes, I love that. Nice patient here. How many of us would have jumped it at a kid and said, No, I'm going to do the two red die black. And uh, it is going to be Anarian. He knows when to attack here. Yes, he does like to get a little aggressive. But there are times in which he pulls his punches. There are times in which he doesn't go all out if he doesn't have to. And right there, he just shows that look, you know, he can definitely continue to play solid Blood Bowl. But man, that could have been his chance right there. But nonetheless, still going to live to see another day. Hopefully the rest of the Wood Elves will be able to stay upright. And there's going to be another armor break.
big bashes from the big tree. And uh, not getting too many injuries though. Wood elves really would need, would really like to see some injuries come out there for him. GFI failure. Gonna have to reroll that on the two die blitz. We'll be able to get him down though. After the reroll. And more wood elves are flooding the backfield yet again. And uh, gonna miss that dodge. Diving tackle on the flesh gum. <laughs> That's so annoying. Diving tackle flesh golem. And he will get his target this time. Ball gonna move right back up. Trying to stay away, trying to play keep away from the strip ball war dancer. But with nine movement allowances, I mean there's only real there's really not that many places that the werewolf can go and run and hide at, so eventually that war dancer is going to jump in there and make a play at the ball, but when? There's the blitz here trying like mad to get him out, but boy, no dice here. And again, if I was Spartaco, I'd probably seriously reconsider getting that blitz off. But there's definitely something to, to be said about continuing to play solid. Three rerolls in hand, and you just never know. Ooh. Try and dodge away from the dangerous tree. Going to get himself KO'd for it. And that is going to be the one with tackle. So <laughs> one less tackler on the pitch. What else? Definitely like what he sees right there. Oh, both down die. And unfortunately not going to get it here. The dodge away on the 2+. plus. Not too dangerous right over there when you have the plus one agility. He's going to move away and try to get the leap off. Yes, he does. And he gets the blitz. Two red dice. And he needs to reroll that. Can't afford a skull on the dice. And there you go. The strip ball. Ball is going to come out here. Where is it going to pop out? Oh, great spot here. That is easily in reach here for that catcher with the plus one agility. He's already going to move the catcher out here. He's already planning to get that ball up on the three plus And after that, two plus dodge away. Yes, he gets the ball away. Yes, he gets the move. Yes. Anarian gets the ball and he has the offense now. Absolutely, he's going the wrong way, but that's okay. He is just tucking him away for now and then possibly going to go for the score in the later bits. If he can make some dodges though, oh, going to fail the dodge. Oh, going to KO himself. That's horrible. Oh, that is absolutely horrible. That would have been one extra receiver on the pitch. As you can see there, not too many Wood Elves left on the pitch. Only with one, two, three, four on the pitch. That's not nearly enough here. May not be able to convert this one into a score, even though he's got the ball. But if anything, he needs to keep this War Dancer upright. But I don't think Spartaco's got plans for him to stay upright. No, 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 indeed. And, uh, oh, there's going to be the one miss right there. He does have... The dodge, though, and nobody here with tackle, so he's going to have to contend with the three dice everywhere. But does he take him down? No, not yet. No, not yet. No, no. War Dancer. It's like he's, like he's moonwalking, baby. He's moonwalking to the to the tune. He's going to have to get the blitz on. Going to try to get down somebody. Oh, defender down die finally. And an armor break. KO, that is beautiful. Just three elves left. Just three. But there's still a dangerous war dancer. If anything, needs to contend with him. And uh, Spartaco needs to at least get a safety out right there. And he does. Remove the flesh column. Going to try to at least stand in the way here. Yes, he does. Does the two GFIs. Takes away the good dice as well. And <laughs> I don't know. I just believe in that. And then He's going to get right there. Again, living up to the dodge. If you can make them do some rolls, then you do it. Even if they does have dodge, doesn't matter. Could get 136, right? There's the tree. Going to get that bash off. But just going to be a push right there. But it does open up a lane here for the war dancer. Yes. Going to be able to move away. And he's just in position. Hopefully he won't get 136 there. Oh, actually, it's going to be the diving tackle. Flesh column. But he's going to be able to dodge away anyways. Yes, indeed. Four plus. No problem. And the 2 plus throw into the catch. And also, maybe get the screen up. Oh no! No screen! Three elves left on the pitch. And the tree. And this may be it, but we've seen the war dance survive. Not one, but two, three die blocks. 
So we'll see if he's able to do that once again, but I don't know. I think the zombie, though, with the tackle ability, he may be the one making the blitz here, I do believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's just in range, but do you want to do two GFIs? That's the question here. And looks like the answer is no. Spartacus like, forget it. I'm going to do a frenzy blitz instead. But no, he's going to do the GFI. And oh, actually, he was going for the blitz here with the zombie. Looks like the blitz icon didn't appear yet, but he did spend the reroll there. And yes, the fitter down die. Beautiful. And the armor break. The stun is real. The ball is continuing to stay out. It just needs to mark up the dangerous last elf here. Somebody give this man another elf, but unfortunately not enough here on the pitch. I don't believe so. But maybe the elves, maybe they'll hold off for overtime. Maybe at least get a chance at the KO guys. Boy, what a different game this would be if he would continue to have some KO guys back. But that's just not the case. Diving tackle going to stop her all things up. And not only that, put the guy on the pitch as well. So nobody's marking the ball up here. For this Wood Elf team. So this is going to be an easy pickup. For the plus one in agility. Werewolf. And after that scamper away. And just getting out of range here. He's just out of range now. Or is he? If, if anything he's going to make that Wood Elf War Dancer. Go through hell and high water to get some. If anything. But I do believe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I think he can get there. TBH. I think he can de get there. And as you can see there, Spartaco is putting a hallway to, of death here towards the ball carrier. But at this point, there's no choice. Anarian's war dancer is going to have to go through it after the leap. Does have plus one in agility. So he's five agility. So here we go. This is it. The last gasp. The leap, the dodge aways. No, the tackle is going to activate and with no more rerolls left. Oh, that is it. No magic here, guys. No fireworks. Turn 16. And he's just going to play and score it there. But will Anarian, will he be able to get his one turner back on the pitch? That, I mean, we've seen the KO rolls not work so well. So we'll see. But we need to get all the KO guys back, if, if, if anything. So here we go, Nis, Nis done to come back, come on, come on. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. It's like raising the dead, guys. It's like raising the dead. When there's a will, there's a way. And when there's an Anarian, oh, yes, indeed. We have seen Anarian win with just two Wood Elves and a tree left on the pitch. Can he do it now with just about a full compliment now? One turner. Oh, this is why we get them, guys. This is why we get them. We need the one turners here to maybe get down the pitch. He doesn't have one with the plus one in movement loss or anything, but he does have one with the sure feet. I mean, the sprint and the sure feet. So watch out for this man right here. He's just he's just a push. He's just a shove away from making us go, OMG, what the hell am I watching? This is it. This is it. Cannot afford a blitz here on this kickoff. Brilliant coaching. And that doesn't help. But it has to do without any rerolls left for the Woodout team. So, and he missed part of this combination. And that is it. Flesh Golem just needs to stand firm right there. And so, boy, these, these guys are standing firm. So, actually, won't be able to get a easy one-turn touchdown out. Oh, no. So, uh, they all have stand firm, actually. So, that's it, yeah. So, with all the stand firmness and with him needing a push, that's, that's it. That's GG. So there we go. Anarian won't be able to get a push necessary after a nice well played two halves. Unfortunately, got the ball out by the end and all the injuries coming out and no KOs coming back into the second half 
absolutely killed him. Spartaco, though, does get the ticket. Yes, indeed. Hey, what's going on, Crystal Hunter? Nice to see you. But, boy, Spartaco does move on. And, unfortunately, Anarian is going to just miss out. Or will he? He will likely come back for the Champions Cup Invitational coming up in a couple of weeks. So, watch out for that. The top two, anyone who makes the final in that one, will get the last two tickets available for the World Cup. So, we will see more of Anarion if he's able to play those days. But I'm pretty sure we will definitely see him back one day. Just a bunch of KOs for the Necromancer team. But again, it was just an absolute lovely day when three of the KOs could not come back. Blow Wiser Babe not doing the job. As you can see there, not really too many injuries. Even though the aggression coming out, the basing done by this Wood Elf team. And so, just being able to take that win away from Narian definitely earns it right there in my book. Wow. Anarian falls short. The people's favorite goes down in flames. I wouldn't say in flames. So it is going to be Spartaco moving on. We'll get the World Cup ticket. And not only that, guaranteeing himself at least 100 euros. He's already made 250 euros. Anyone going to the cup is actually already guaranteed 250 euros. So congratulations to that. So not only that, getting that money here and then getting more money just making it to the World Cup. So that is quite nice. I'll tell you that much. More Champions Cup action to come, guys. Two more games left to play. Two more to follow. And we are going to go all night, all the way here. As we're about to see Wolf Bainston's taking on Elliot. And uh, this should be a pretty good fight there. And then we'll see Christopher and Veliopia rounding it out by the end. So don't you guys go away. More Blood Bowl coverage to come. And more World Cup action here. So don't you guys go away. I'm just going to go and eat my hot dog real quick, guys. So I should be a few minutes, okay? So I'm not going to be as quick. But I'll definitely be right back. Of course, guys, if you are watching and you haven't already, hit that follow button. Definitely helps me out. And not only that, but, you know, it definitely keeps me going. Of course, if you're watching it after the fact on YouTube, hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe. And... You'll see some more bubble action as well as strategy and role-playing games to come on my channel. Oh boy. Hot dog time. Be right back.
Hello, once again, this is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with some Season 15 action. Oh, actually, I need to stop the client real quick. <laughs> I'll be coming at you with some fit Season 15 action from the World Cups. I mean, not the World Cups. For the Champions Cup. <laughs> Hi, Wolf Bark. So, just a quick correction, guys. I mistakenly said that the first round of the World Cup gets 250 euros and that is an absolute mistake so sorry about that but rectified by this comment right there right so I was mistaken about the 250 euros it is not until it is 9 through 16 they get the 250 euros and we'll just take a quick look at the prize a little bit later on but for right now let's go ahead and continue on as I start out the Blood Bowl 2 client and the reason why I was doing that is, is because you guys can't hear any of the sound, I think. So you should be able to hear the sound now from the game. It's in American Euros, a.k.a. Dollars. <laughs> oh, I see. So the World Cup prizes are in dollars. What? Who who thought of that? I need to I need to look at that totally again. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Well you guys made the ticket, so I guess you guys are really reading it now, but <laughs> I need to read it again. Oh boy, so in the semifinals here, or actually in the quarterfinals. Sorry. We are still looking at quarterfinal action here at the base uh, Taking on Andrea, where uh, Andrea did fall short here. The base did move on. And Spartaco, the last time the World Cup played in 2016, did end up third overall. So he is back into the 2018 World Cup Blood Bowl 2. Are we sure that it's in American dollars or maybe, you know, some other type of dollar? <laughs> I guess I can't blame them there. You know, the dollars. 